In trigonometry, we use the trigonometric formula cos a plus b equal to cos a cos b minus the sin a sin b. How did we get this expression? This it look really mystery because we always imbibe this formula as it like, and I'm here to explain you more about the what is the mystery behind how we come to this in this expressional form. So this is a trigonometric formula. Then I'm using the Euler formula. So Euler formula that connect a complex number with in a trigonometric form. So Euler states that e power i x is cos x plus i the sin x. So this is the way the Euler has expressed a, com a complex number with the trigonometric functions. And I'm using this Euler's formula to coming to this form. And before that, we need to just look into some other uh, theorems that is Taylor series. So Taylor says that any function can be expressed and sum of a series of functions. And uh, suppose let us take f of x is a function, let it just be e power x. So as for the Taylor series, e power x can be expressed as 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial plus x cubed by 3 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 factorial. And it goes on. And instead of x, I'm going to use uh, x let x equal to i theta. So then substitute uh, e let then what would be the e for i theta. So now x is replaced with the i theta. So it's look like one plus uh, i theta plus so i square is that is minus one theta square by two factorial. So this become minus minus i theta cube by 3 factorial so plus theta power 4 into 4 factorial. So by looking at this form, so we can see that the sum of the terms has complex numbers, uh, some are the real numbers. So now we separate the complex numbers and uh, real numbers into two different parts. So, um, by separating the complex number and real number, so e power i theta can be expressed as the 1 minus uh, theta square by 2 factorial plus uh, theta power 4 power 4 factorial. And it goes on. And uh, from this complex number, so we can take out this i common. So, the next term become we can take out i common and and that and the, the remaining terms are uh, theta minus uh, theta cube by uh, three factorial plus theta power five by and five factorial and it goes on. And now what the Taylor says that this is the cause and it is represented using the term theta so plus i and this is another term uh, which is represented is uh, the sine terms so the euler was right so if our i is theta is cos theta plus i sine theta okay now it is this is the the Euler's form that is he is expressed the complex uh, function in terms of trigonometric uh, function sine and cos. Now let us take um, uh, a theta equal to a. So e power i a is of cos a plus i sine a. Then what about e power i beta? So e power i b is cos b plus i sin b. Now I am going to multiply 1 and 2. So when I multiply 1 and 2, uh, the 
left hand side become e power i a multiplied with e power i b and on the right hand side cos a plus i sin a that is multiplied with uh, cos b plus i sin b now just see this one e power i a into e power i b is e power i a plus b so this is equal to multiply cos a cos b so this become cos a cos b plus cos a i sin b so i sin b cos a plus i sin a cos b so i sin a cos b i sin a into i sin b so that is minus sin a sin b now same as the previous way so now we are going to separate the real part and imaginary part so e power i a plus b equal to so we have real part cos a cos b and minus sin a sin b cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so this is the real terms so that plus so the complex terms are these are the complex three cos a sin b and uh, cos b sin a so we can take out i outside let i so sin a cos b plus sin b cos a now expand the left hand side using euler's expression so e power i theta is cos uh, cos theta plus i uh, sine theta now here instead of theta it is a plus b so it become cos a plus b plus i sine a plus b so this is equal to so this one now separate the real part and imaginary part so real part is cos a plus b the real part on the left hand side is uh, cos a plus b and the real part on the right hand side is uh, cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and uh, the imaginary part on the left hand side is sin a plus b equal to so what is the imaginary term on the right hand side is sin a cos b plus sin b cos a similarly we can do the same expansion using e power i a minus b as cos a cos b plus sin a sin b plus the imaginary term is sin a cos b minus sin b cos a by doing the same now using the same exercise we have done before so we can separate the real part and imaginary part from this and their expressions so similarly we can expand the e power i a minus b using the euler's form euler's form so this become cos a minus b plus i sin a minus b that is equal to this term so by separating real part and imaginary part so cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b 
similarly sine a minus b is the imaginary part of the left hand side that is sine a cos b minus sine b cos a and now look at this expression so you no need to by heart all these formulas just by knowing the Euler's form and Taylor series we can understand that how this trigonometric formula is finally came to this form and I hope you enjoyed this sessions bye